Uh, it's your boy No DNA. I'm gonna do a quick review on the iMachine 2, which came out on the App Store for iOS around a week ago. All right. So this cost about uh, three pounds ninety nine, and it's on sale now for around seventy nine p, I believe. So I think it's a 75% discount or, or such. Anyway, the new features are, it takes advantage of the 3D touch on the iPhone 6S and the 6S Plus. So now the pads are actually touch sensitive. I've just loaded up a kit here. And as you can see, I'm tapping gently. And now you can see if you force touch, you also get a step mode. So for example, these um, tools have been taken from the, the full blown machine uh, to software. So you might see some, some uh, tools like this, for example, Okay, so we have the same feature set as the um, original iMachine, which has the note repeat, but then as you see, it's touch sensitive. So on the next page here, on the middle page, um, we have now, you can see the patterns can be changed in the scenes. So for example, if I already have a pattern here, I can add a second pattern so that on the top here, which is actually a new feature as well, the arranger, we can say, for example, we want pattern one to start here and then we want pattern two to start here. You'll be familiar with this if you have the machine two, the complete software. So this has just been integrated from machine two. You can change the pattern length as well. So for example, this is a one bar pattern. If you want a two bar pattern, the second half is gonna be empty, for example, or you could have a one bar pattern and you could double it. So that just doubles the pattern, so it goes for two bars instead of one. You can also clear the pattern completely. You can utilize the step mode from this part of the menu as well. And you can also choose what bar it's going to be. So on the second half of the bar, we've added this. You can also choose what um, instrument is going to be used or what drums are going to be used in the step mode. So you can go Yeah, we can use this one here. And we can just uh, erase. So what erase does is it works exactly like on, it does on machine. So you just hold it down on the pad you want to erase for as long as you need that part to be erased. So it's just gonna wipe through the longer you hold it down. So for example, I might want to take one of these claps out. See, so it's taken out of that clap. Okay, um, we also have an undo feature, which is very handy. And we also have a mute feature, which we can just mute things on the go, which is quite handy for um, live sequencing. Um, also, you have a history, which is really cool of all the things you've done. So maybe you might have made a change that you really want to go back to and you want to, um, you know, find that melody or find that beat you had before you uh, maybe changed the drums or you, you did something crazy to it. Um, okay, so next we have, this is pretty much the same as the I, I machine, the original one. You can change the tune. The gain, 
pan. One shot and choke. Basically, one shot is so the, the pad plays in its entirety. Um, without that, you can just, you know, has a quick release. And the choke uh, means that basically when you have two pads, maybe like a, a hi-hat and a, an open hat, for example, uh, you can choose one to cut off another, which is quite... Um, uh, handy when you're doing sampling for example you can also record as well so you can see the threshold is is there um, all I have to do is press record and I can record my own sample into the actual uh, drum pad which is quite handy so with the new uh, machine we also have uh, four additional kits this one's called the Motown kit for example um, Just let you hear all of them. There's just some loops. And the tank here. Also, you have um, the instruments similar to last uh, last version, but this one has. Um, elements uh, implemented from the complete control series uh, so you see the keyboards with the light up uh, keys basically this is a software imp implementation of them so you can see we can choose actual scales just like the uh, the hardware and you can see you can just drag your finger So it's, it's, it's quite similar to the easy mode. It will just, um, all the, the notes that don't have lights basically don't have um, anything that's in that scale. So for example, this and the one in the light, the light up is the same. Only the ones with the lights have different notes. Also has a harmonizer mode and a chord set mode. So you can harmonize any note you have, for example, one and three. You can have that. Or you can actually just have a, a full blown chord. So any, any chords. It's really, really, really cool. You can make really cool music on this. Um, and also, if you wanna change the instrument, you just press this button here. You can choose a, a, um, an actual sample to overlay the keyboard, or you can actually have um, specific instruments here. So you can see these are just basses. You can go through and just select any type you want here. And they're all really good quality. Um, and then at the end here, you have the, the mixer page, um, which is quite similar to last year's one, uh, not last year's, but uh, uh, the one from iMachine, sorry. Um, I go through the basic effects. We have the chorus, lo-fi, uh, delay, flanger, uh, low-pass filter, band-pass filter, and a high-pass filter. Um, also with this, I don't know how long this deal's going for, but basically, you can have uh, an ultimate collection where you have um, all 36 expansions for machine one um, for 79p. So literally, you buy that for 79p. You, this one is free here actually, but you get all these Amplified Funk, Velvet Lounge, Golden Kingdom, Astral Flutter, Neon Drive, Prospect, Haze, Paradise Rinse, Caribbean Current, Magnate Hustle, Circuit Halo, Arcane Attic, Grey Forge, Lone Forest, Lucid Mission, Marble Rims, Halicorn Sky. You know, I could go through all of them. It's just, it's just basically everything you get on um, Machine 2. Obviously, these, these are cut down versions. So this, for example, will have like, um, you know, two projects, four kits and five instruments. They're cut down versions, but they have a lot to offer. All right, well, check out my other video. Um, I make a quick beat on this, um, and you can just see what the workflow is like, basically. 
Um, but thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe because it helps keep me motivated to put out more content like this for you guys. Peace.